What's going on, you Walking Dead enthusiasts out there? Your two favorite zombie hunters are back tonight, and we're back to review the all-new spinoff in the Walking Dead universe. It's the return of Rick Grimes and Michonne, those two lovebirds. They're back together. It's been several years since we've seen them. It's good to have them back. We're talking about the Walking Dead, the ones who live. That's right, those two lovebirds are finally back. Our favorite power couple from The Walking Dead have their new spinoff show, The Ones Who Live in The Return of Rick Grimes. Of course, you know, at the end, the series finale, we saw what happened to Rick. It has to do with throwing a message in a bottle into a river. Really sets up the this, you know, series, first episode. We get to see Rick beaten down. You know, he's trying to escape over and over again. He keeps getting captured and he's down in his luck and really sets up the whole episode and the, the vibe they're going for. Yeah, he's put through the ringer in this episode. You see him at the lowest he's ever been. I mean, you feel for the guy. He just multiple times he's trying to escape. He's been taken by the CRM, uh, this big military conglomerate, basically, that's uh, captured him. And they use the people that they capture to help them take out the zombies in front of them. Um, it's, you know, basically in the outskirts of Philadelphia, now the Civic Republic, as it's being called. And you know, he meets up with this lieutenant uh, character who sees a lot in Rick. He can see the damage, but he also sees the promise in Rick if he can just get Rick to stop trying to escape and to accept, you know, this is his new life and he can thrive here in this new life if he just accept that. But we see Rick, at, you know, at this point would do anything to get back to his family, Judith and Michonne. You know, he's living with the thoughts of having to you know, be without them for all these years. It's been five years since he's seen them and he'd do anything for them. But every time he tries to get close, he's pulled back in here. And, you know, finally at about the midpoint in this episode, he kind of accepts the fate that he's not going to see him anymore. He kind of gives up on him and takes up this uh, lieutenant. I guess it is a lieutenant on his, you know, takes his offer basically to have a little bit better life here to become kind of like the soldier for the CRM. At least there, he'd have a nice house with the air conditioning and be able to, you know, be involved in the decision-making uh, process for this uh, group. Yeah, Rick is, you know, part of this world he's always trying to get away from, you know, throughout The Walking Dead, all the bad groups and communities and villains that showed up along the way, you know, part of the CRM and world he doesn't want to be a part of, you know, trying to escape and getting captured over and over again like on a leash and they have a wrist strap on them and which i thought was cool in the beginning the character in the comic where he cuts off his hand get away from them and they you know has to put it in the fire and everything i thought, thought that was mm -hmm. really super cool and rick has been through the ringers and trying to deal with a lot and, and get through you know life not being happy you know it's been five years since the walking dead and you know a lot has changed hasn't seen his family and, uh, you know, kind of down on his luck. And all he does is stab zombies all day long and just feel <laughs> like a prisoner. And yeah. it's not a good way to go. No. And at one point he's, you know, thinking about ending his life. Takes a glass shard to his neck and he's about to end his life. And, you know, something stops him. He's having these visions throughout the episode, too, of meeting with Michonne like back in a, in a, in a, in a different life, you can say meeting up and talking with her and their characters, but they're not really themselves. It's kind of like, like him meeting a new person and falling in love with her again, Michonne. Uh, we see glimpses of them, you know, just when you think all is lost, you know, he's never going to be able to escape. He's kind of going to be relegated to this life as kind of a soldier here. They're up in a chopper at the end and some shit really goes down. You know, the, the chopper starts getting hit by rockets and him and the guy, the uh, commander there next to him that uh, got him to join this group are talking. And then all of a sudden some shit, some really crazy shit happens at the end of the episode. That's kind of going to set the series up from where it goes. And it leads to Rick crashing the helicopter. And, you know, shortly after that, we finally see Michonne at the end of the episode. So she's back and they're reunited 
but it's like so shocking for Rick and Michonne, you know, they haven't seen each other in so long. It's like, are they even the same people anymore? What's their relationship going to be like at this point? And what are they up against the, you know, we don't know anything yet, but uh, yeah, the first episode sets up a lot. We see Rick in this place we haven't seen him before. And it's going to be interesting moving forward to see how those two are going to get along and what they're going to be up against, really. Well, that's not the same Rick we were introduced to in season one. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> he's suicidal. He's, you know, he's over it. He doesn't want to live this life anymore and just getting reintroduced to Michonne. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. They refuel that romance, rekindle that romance that they had the walking dead. But uh, just getting a glimpse of that was really interesting. You know, I like the the set pieces in this. This uh, episode one was really good. I'll, the military and what happens to Rick and his hand and surviving and trying to escape and his handler, you know, introducing Oc4, which is played by Craig Tate. I thought he was pretty cool in this. He could mm-hmm. see something in Rick, you know, Rick being a natural leader, obviously for his crew back in The Walking Dead, and he can see the potential in Rick. So they have a, a pretty good and interesting, you know, relationship in the show and interesting character at that. Yeah. And when Rick goes on that mission and he's thinking about trying to escape there, He's also with another recruit, Pearl Thorne, who's a new character for the show, somebody that kind of trained with Rick after he'd been recruited and accepted this, you know, fate as a soldier here. Okafor's offer, he starts up a relationship with Pearl and they kind of rely on each other. She's a strong character too, tough girl, and she kind of notices Rick trying to escape with this plan. Something, of course, goes wrong in the midst of it. Uh, there's this this little girl that shows up and it kind of wrecks his plan. He's going to escape. Um, so, yeah, there's other characters, too, involved, and it's going to be some new characters. Uh, we didn't see Pearl, um, you know, after what happened in the helicopter, but I'm sure she's going to still be out there in this world and probably going to eventually meet back up with Rick. It'll be interesting to see, like, what happens now and if Rick's going to, like, be able to escape fully now that he's after he's been you know shot down out of the helicopter if the if the military group's going to find him again or if he's going to kind of go rogue again with michonne uh which i'm assuming he will i mean it's michonne so it's his love so yeah a lot of uh interesting setups here the whole uh setup of the city and everything where they were was really cool again it felt like an expanded universe here like we had mentioned before all those years you know on the Herschel's farm and the prison and like these small farm areas it felt kind of small and they're shooting in Georgia whereas these shows you know now we're in the bigger city here it feels a lot like episode one when they were downtown in Atlanta this is another big sprawling metropolis area here a lot of land to to move on so the the universe is expanding here and now he he obviously has military capabilities and there's helicopters and stuff so really this world is you know ever expanding and can go in a lot of different places and i'm interested to see where this uh this spinoff is going to go from here yeah same here um i saw scott gimple he's the one that was attached to the original um you know walking dead and messed it up i thought halfway through (laughs) so i was a little nervous with him being attached to this but yeah the first episode was enjoyable it's entertaining it's fun getting reintroduced to these characters it's been so long and seeing what rick grimes is going through how he's surviving and then of course michonne showing up and hopefully we'll see what happens to the relationship throughout the course of the the season uh but you know set pieces were good i mean i thought there was a lot on the line paying homage to the comics and uh, just seeing Rick again was really fantastic. I didn't like it as much as Daryl Dixon, which we just reviewed, but I thought it was entertaining and enjoyable. And I think hopefully it'll get better throughout the rest of the episodes of the season. But, you know, first episode, had a good time with it and I uh, should definitely check it out. So I'm giving the first episode, The Ones Who Live, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Rick Grimes, hair pieces. <laughs> Like you took the score right from me. I felt the same way as you did. Wasn't quite as strong as that series, uh, but for an opening episode, especially how it ended, I think if they're able to continue from there, this uh, series has a lot of potential moving forward. So no problem. But with that being said, yeah, I had a pretty enjoyable time with the episodes. Great seeing um, Andrew Lincoln and Michonne, uh, Rick Grimes and Michonne back on the screen, having them back. They're both awesome in this universe, the OGs, and they're back now. Let's see what happens from here. Um, they were supposed to, this was supposed to be a movie 
you know, when they were talking about doing the movies. So now that they're doing a series, it's going to give them even more time on screen together and more time to flesh out the story here. And who knows where it's going to go from here? Uh, we, we don't know. So let's hope that uh, we can continue the momentum of where it ended and lead to a really kick-ass series. And hopefully, eventually, get all these characters back together, you know, meet back up with old Daryl and bring the worlds back together before closing out the saga for all these, you know, the original uh, stars anyway of the series would be cool. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to give The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, the pilot episode. I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five Michonne hair pieces. <laughs> and they close this out. What do you mean? In like 30 years? I mean, this is. Like, I know. Yeah. They're making I mean, so much money yeah. off of this. People right. are still watching it. So they're going to keep putting yep. it out. I'm just going to keep expanding. And sure. It's going to be, you know, crossing with uh, Avengers. <laughs> right. I don't know. Who's going to yeah. keep going with this? Yeah. Much like Fast and Furious. Uh, but anyways, we're interested in hearing from all you zombies out there. What did you like about the ones who live? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite spinoff show? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to stun, subscribe. Also, check out these wild uncles on Facebook, X, and Instagram, and our website, cinefells.com, for the latest, greatest TV, movie news, and reviews. So thank you guys for joining us tonight for our review of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. We are thrust back into The Walking Dead universe after, you know, taking a long, long hiatus of the same old stories, same rehashed, running into the next group of guys that are all bad and have a little bit more weaponry and are just assholes, period. You know, it was kind of the same old thing there for several seasons on The Walking Dead. This feels like a nice refreshing reboot and a great time to, uh, you know, join the franchise again and go back with these characters that we know and love. And uh, can't wait to see where everything goes from here. Thank you guys for following along with us. And until the next... Cinefellas TV Review. I'm Uncle Henry Hill. And I'm Aunt Michonne Myers. Signing out until the next TV Review. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.